What if you've taken off with your JPI and you forgot to put in the new fuel? Very easy. Step and lean find, or the two buttons on the 7800. Program mode immediately goes to refuel. At that point, you say yes. And if you want to add or subtract fuel, off you go. All you do is uh, start changing numbers, as you can see down here. And when you're finished, save. And that's it. Now you've readjusted your fuel. And the good thing is JPI keeps track of the fuel you used already on takeoff, so your fuel totals will be accurate. Another common problem is the scan rate. Same thing, step and lean fine, and program mode, refuel, no. The next thing, software info, go to next. Right now I have the auto scan rate on one. If I want to make it slower, now it's going to be every two seconds. As soon as I like that, I hit save. I continue to scroll, basically end. End, yes. And that's it. Now my scan rate's going to be every two seconds and instead of every one second. Okay, what happens if you find you don't like what your engine's doing? It's showing you an erroneous display or you're seeing something spike up and you want to make some more adjustments. That's what normalized mode is used for. To enter normalized mode, you simply hold down the lean find button and you'll notice right away the bars even up, the EGT bars. So I'm holding down lean fine. So as soon as I change temps on any of my EGTs, I'll see an immediate response. That's also due to the fast probes that JPI uses. They quickly tell you what's going on with temperatures. When I want to go back, I simply hold lean find again and now I'm showing my normal display. Each time I normalize, I'm setting things even with the EGT. So again, if I hold it, it goes even, and right away I can see what cylinders are peaking, what cylinders are running cooler, etc., etc. Normalized mode is a very useful diagnostics tool. Hit lean find again to get out of it, and that's that. Okay, let's quick do a quick lean find mode refresher. I like to run the plane lean of peak, not rich of peak. Currently I'm showing 8.6 gallons an hour at 53 percent. I'm just putting around, I'm not trying to make speed. So what I do for lean find mode is I hit lean find mode, it's telling me lean of peak, LOP, and as I slowly crank back the mixture, we're going to go into what they call icicle mode. You're going to meet, see the temperatures rise, and when I start to peak, display will turn around and they'll descend. There they go. And that's allowing me to adjust more precisely the richest and leanest cylinders. Number two, as you can see, is the last one to go. So that's running the hottest. That's a setting I'm very comfortable with. So I exit out. And my fuel is now 6.5 gallons an hour at 48% horsepower, 49% horsepower. Yes, I'll lose a knot or two, but I'm still going to be running significantly more efficiently than I did before. So especially if you're just sightseeing or driving around, that's the perfect way to save gas money. But at the same time, in cruise, it saves significant money if you're flying multiple hours. I always use lean of peak in pretty much all flight except uh, full power takeoff. Or occasionally, if I'm going into a headwind and I really want to power up and run 75%, then I might not go lean a peak, then I'll stay rich of peak.